and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my personal review of all three of the Kimoji fragrances. So, I've had these for a little while, and I've been thinking about doing a review on these for quite a while. And then, all three of them end up selling out before I did my review, and I was like, okay, well, there's no point in, like, doing a review now because they're sold out, and why review something that people can't get, and the only way they're going to get it is on eBay. But then... Kim went and restocked them, and they're currently all three in stock on her website. This video is not at all sponsored, but if it wants to be, hit a brother up. Um, but yes, I did buy all these with my own money. I'm just going to run through and review all three of them for you guys and kind of do everything I normally do. So, here you guys go. First one we're going to do is Kimoji Peach, and I'm just going to pull the notes directly from the like, KKW fragrance website. Like, that way it's the easiest way to do this. So, first off, let's talk about packaging. Because I am a freaking sucker for packaging. And this is, like, bar none one of my favorite packagings that's been done. So, first off, the fragrance comes in a little freaking drawer. How cute is that? Um, and then it says Kimoji on there. And then it's got, like, the emoji version of the fragrance on it. Um, and then on the very top of it, it's also got it... But, let's see how we can get it. There we go. It's kind of, like, white and glossed in there. Um... And then the bottle looks like this and comes inside of there. Um, this one is, like I said, Kimoji Peach. So you've got, like, the cream on the top and then the peach on the bottom. And then it separates like this. Um, and then this bottle is actually, like, soft touch, I guess, would be, like, the best way to say it. It does kind of feel like a peach. It does kind of feel like it's got a little bit of peach fuzz on the bottle. Um, not saying that the bottle's, like, flocked or anything. It just is a softer texture in comparison to the other bottles. Um... I will say this is probably my favorite one out of the three of them. So, this one has top notes, or description on the KKW website says, Peach opens with fresh, juicy nectarine and velvety shades of peach for a mouth watering sensation. Jasmine, while well, jas jasmine petals and peach blossom adds to the delicious composition, its creamy base consists of sandalwood, creamy vanilla, and musk opening succulent peach juicy nectarine and mandarin middle notes are beige rose jasmine petals and peach blossom with base notes of sandalwood creamy vanilla and musk so this one straight up as i grab a little fragrance tester is straight up like peaches and cream um peach rings i can't even like this smells like peach candy um it smells like those little like peach rings candy things you can get you know what i'm talking about yeah Mm, I really, really like this one. Like I said, it's my favorite one. It's very true to peach. It doesn't smell like a generic peach. It doesn't smell like um, like an overly perfumey peach. It is very much like a realistic, juicy peach fragrance with kind of that, like, perfumey base. It's a really, really nice fragrance, and it lasts a really, really long time. Um, the really thing that's nice about this one is it comes off as like peach rings or peach circles or juicy peach, but it doesn't smell synthetic and it doesn't smell cheap. While the bottle, people might say, looks cheap, the fragrance, as I drop that, smells so amazing. Like this, honestly, is my favorite one out of the three of them, and I have been wearing this one personally a lot. And I'll layer it with other fragrances to give them like a peachy vibe. Um, I just really, really like this one. So, next one is... Cherry. Let me pull that one up on the Kimoji website. Or the KKW website, not the Kimoji website. You know what I mean. Um, Cherry is a smell of temptation. Delicious composition or composed fragrance featuring juicy red cherry, luscious raspberry, and sweet strawberry paired with romantic cherry blossoms and gardenia petals. The base lures with an intense vanilla, woods, and musk. Opening juicy red cherry, luscious raspberries, and sweet strawberry. Cherry Blossom, Gardenia Petals, and Vanilla Orchid are in the heart, while Vanilla, Blonde Wood, and Musk are in the base. So, this one comes in a package like this. Probably my favorite packaging out of all of them. A lot of people, when I've seen stuff, said that this looked like an apple. And I think just because of like, the oversized of it, like, the peach is very undersized, while the cherry is very oversized. I, I mean, I get it. I mean, like, a real cherry is, like, this big, so... But... I saw a lot of people saying this reminded them of an apple more than a cherry. I, I don't know. The bottle looks like this, and it's like a glossy, like, lipsticky red. Um, I was really disappointed by this one, to be honest. I was hoping for something like Cherry in the Air or uh, uh, Fantasy in Bloom. 
because I wanted that really like bitter, like earthy cherry. This one disappointed me in the way that it was not what I wanted it to be, but for it being a cherry fragrance, I do really, really like it. This one smells more like cherry car air freshener than like perfume cherry. If that makes sense, you'll get what I mean. Like if you smell this, you'll get it. Um, but it's got a really like succulent, juicy vanilla base to it. So it's definitely kind of like cherries on snow kind of dessert type of thing. But it's a very like um, deep cherry, very almost like a masculine cherry versus like a, a light airy feminine cherry, if that makes sense. This one is a little bit of a darker fragrance. Like, I definitely think this is more, like, springy, summery, while this could be a little bit more fall and wintery. If, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't do fragrance by season. You guys know that. Um, but I do like this one. Not saying I don't like it. It was just not that, like, bitter cherry that I was expecting. This is more of a, like, intense, vanilla-y, rich, dark cherry, if that makes sense. So... And then, the one that I wasn't the biggest fan of was Vibes. Now, I got all three of them just to have the whole collection. Um, Vibes didn't super... Like, I like the bottle. I love this bottle. I like how it's, like, cut out on the front, and then it says, like, Vibes on the back. Um, so it, like, reflects through. If that makes sense? Yeah. And you got, like, the colors that reflect through if you look at it at different angles. Um, and... This one, when I ordered it, I knew I wasn't gonna like it just based on the notes, because... It's not my, like, just when they were describing it, it's just, Vibes is a joyful, irresistible, and lively fragrance with sparkling bright notes of bergamot that will bring a smile to your face. Apple blossom, peony, and fresh jasmine radiate with sheer happiness. Uh, the finish uh, offers cedarwood, sun-kissed amber, and musk to complete a happy vibe. Opening with bergamot, watery melon, and juicy pineapple, apple blossoms, peony petals, and fresh jasmine in the heart with cedar... Uh, cedarwood, sun kissed amber, and musk in the base. So this one is definitely the more, like, mature, musky out of the three of them, if that makes sense. This is definitely the more perfumey out of the three of them, I would say. Um, you definitely do smell the bergamot, and you do get a little bit of the peony, but this is kind of more of a musky clean, mature fragrance. It's not, like, super mature, but it's definitely more, like, these are a little bit younger, while I think this one's a little bit more mature. Not, like, you get what I mean? I don't, I, you get it. I get it. I'm sorry. But, like, this one, just something about it reminds me of Bug Spray. And I don't mean that in, like, a bad way. Yeah, I do. I'm sorry. I just don't like this one. It's just... I don't know, something about it. These two, I'm in love with. This one just flopped for me. I'm sorry. Um, I don't really like musky fragrances either, so the fact that this is, like, super musky doesn't help it. But these two, I love these two. I know that these two are still in stock on our website because I was just looking at them. Um, definitely worth it. I mean, packaging in the first place is worth it to me. The only thing I will say about those fragrances is they are pretty linear. What you get is what you get. Um, that's not a bad thing. I do almost always kind of prefer a fragrance that doesn't change too much. I do like when they have a scent story and they smell different at the end of the day. Um, but at the same time, I really like the beginning of a fragrance and I really like that to stay. So these ones do kind of do that. They are pretty linear in the fact that they stay the same throughout them. They'll change a little bit and they'll develop a little bit more on your skin. Um, and they'll kind of open up, like, this one comes a little bit more florally peach. Um, not super floral, it still stays pretty dang juicy and still pretty sweet. This one does the same thing, get a little bit more vanilla, a little bit more, like, woody. But, um, still stay pretty true to the fruit that they're based off of. So, there you guys go, there is my review of the three Kimoji fragrances. I hope you guys enjoyed these. If you guys have any requests for future videos, please go ahead and comment them down below. Always looking for those future ones, and I would like to get back into doing more videos for you guys, and do ones that you guys do deeply enjoy. So, if there's any fragrances I haven't reviewed that you guys would like to see, or anything like that, please let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll definitely do that. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, a the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below, and as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye!